Whenever I walk the trail to Wolf Mountain, I think what the area must have been like in prehistoric times, when wolves and bear roamed free, when the first people lived in harmony with nature. I think about a story that the Cherokee Indians told about Atagahi, the Lake of the Wounded. It is a place where animals go to be healed. Some humans who have lived as friends of the animals were granted a vision of the lake. They prayed and fasted all through the night and they saw a waterfall and springs flowing down from a cliff into a stream that fed Atagahi. At dawn, they caught a glimpse of the purple waters and the animals bathing there in these waters growing well again. But it was just a glimpse. As soon as the humans saw it, it faded. You see, animals guard this place and keep it invisible to the human eye. This story is ancient, but its lesson is modern. It is said that if humans consistently treat all animals and the earth with respect, and if they live well and if they pray, it may be that someday these humans will see the purple waters of Atagahi. In my imagination, this small pond has qualities similar to Atagahi. It is away from the trail and few people know about it. It is oh so beautiful and animals are everywhere. They're quietly talking to each other among themselves. I sense that the water is sacred and healing to anything that it touches. Without interrupting the animal chatter, I respectfully step into this pond, thinking about stories from the past, wondering about the future, a nurturing future filled with beauty and love.